The first part of a crucial summit on biodiversity is underway in Kunming in China. And to mark that event, Euronews brought together experts from China and Europe for a special debate programme discussing how best to protect biodiversity and create a nature-friendly world. Here are some of the highlights. President Xi Jinping gave a, a keynote speech on biodiversity at the summit of COP15. So what's your takeaway? The one significantly is uh, uh, he committed the 1.5 billion RMB to, is to establish a Kunming Biodiversity Fund and also welcome other countries to join. Do you think that we've learned lessons from what happened with COVID-19? Uh, there is an unprecedented awareness about our interdependence with nature and uh, the ecosystems and biodiversity with that crisis. If people are more aware about the choices they have, they can select what they buy, what they consume, that they know that the consequences of their choices is having a positive impact on biodiversity or not. Do we need to price in the cost of nature in the products and things? Is that kind of economic angle going to help uh, establish the kind of world that, that Miriam's talking about? In the end, this will lead to conditions where, for example, organically grown food is much cheaper than the conventional one, if you really account for all the costs. So I think we need to use uh, economic arguments but we should not really uh, fall in the pitfall of uh, pricing each uh, single species, for example. The 20 Aichi uh, conservation uh, targets uh, you know, made in Japan in 2010, if you look at the record of countries uh, fulfilling those targets, uh, basically they have failed nearly all of them. As to Ma Jun, you know, what are the reasons? We put um, all these ambitious targets uh, on paper, but they're not supported uh, by the, you know, from legislation to government policy, and then also the uh, money, uh, the investment uh, has not come. You're actually there in Kunming, in China. Well, what are your big hopes for what can be achieved? COP15 is a one critical moment for China to play that host country role, to unite the different views in the world, trying to bridge the differences and the concerns so that we can really have the global diversity framework agreed next year in Kunming. That could be the transformational and could be uh, ambitious, but still deliver the conservation result we all need. As you've heard, protecting biodiversity is vital for all life on Earth. You can carry on and watch this conversation in full on Euronews.com. And let us know your thoughts using Euronews social media channels.